good morning from another hidden gem in the Philippines, Carabao Island. In our previous adventure in the Philippines, we took you to Tablas Island, a secret paradise. But there are more hidden gems in the Philippines. Around the corner, you'll find Carabao Island, just an hour from the world-famous Boracay. The local boat brought us to Carabao from Tablas Island. When we got to the port, a taxi driver came up to us and we made a good deal to get to our hotel. But there's one thing we didn't ask. We had to go on a motorbike with our suitcase. Are there a lot of tourists here or no? And of course we had to order a pizza. White sand beaches and clear blue water are just better with a pizza. Look at these Instagrammers. That's crazy, it's crazy. It just every second it gets different as well. Little did we know that we would enjoy the best sunsets of our lives in a few minutes. Can life get any better? Chocolate mousse, sunsets. It almost looks like a green screen behind me, but this is nature at, at its best. We are going to do a really crazy adventure. I never thought that place would be here in this island. You like this island all by yourself? Yeah, it was a crazy adventure to get here yesterday, but we survived and now we're here. And hopefully where we're going now, oh, I'm really looking forward to this, but hopefully it's open because I can imagine that <laughs> it's not open yet. We went early, it's nine o'clock now. And uh, yeah, maybe when it's open, we're the only ones. That's also a good thing. <laughs> The pig there. I think we have seen more animals on this island than humans. There's a lot of chickens, of course, there's a lot of ducks, there's a lot of piglets and pig. And the coolest <laughs> thing is that all these chickens, ducks, whatever, they have babies. Yeah. So oh, cute. I see. You see there. Oh, more baby chickens. Aww. I think it is here. I'm going closer. And there's nobody to I ask us. Okay. No, we didn't see any people almost. Let's go there. The cathedral cave and cliff. That's going to be the fun part. So it's almost time to jump. And I must say, like the highest jump, it looks it's high. It's not a little bit high, it's crazy high, crazy high. This is our guide. Yes, my name is Chris. Enjoy your vacation here in the nature. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm so lucky because I met you here in Carabao Island, Mom sir. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. Time to give our life away. Let's see how it goes. I'm more afraid for the the, the cold water. <laughs> you yeah. said it was really cold. Woo! Now I was saying I wish the boat stayed here so that I don't have to jump. <laughs> and now it was my turn to jump. If you have seen us in Cebu on our canoeering adventure, you would know that cliff jumping is not my favorite activity. Great, great time here and the cool part was it was just us and it's still the water is just unbelievable how pretty it is oh it my is, god uh, there are a few italians but he said that uh, there are tours from Boracay coming here and he said it comes in the afternoon right yeah and we are still it's still 11 o'clock oh, yeah, so it's still 11 there's <laughs> nobody and it's really chill and yeah it's a nice place and yeah. there is also just a family here with little children and all they locals, go a little yeah. bit in the water and then they go out it's not yeah it's not cracked at all like we no. had such a great time we can snorkel forever because we are not with a tour so we just took a shower to get ready for our island adventure because now we're going to get a scooter we're just going to drive around to see what for pretty beaches probably we will see On the other side of the island and I think there's some fiesta going on because I see a lot of people in party clothes and there was some party going on there but 
first we'll find something to eat and then we'll search where the party is. Yeah. It's a same scary as a <laughs> cliff diving. Cliff diving. <laughs> but did you see the view? Yeah. Wow. We just ordered our tea. I have the choc. Uh, I have the <laughs> what was it? Red velvet mocha. The red velvet mocha. It was a. It's a, it was a little bit of a risk, but it's next level. Mm. And I have um, dark chocolates, but it's really a thing. Filipinos love these drinks. Like wherever you are in the most isolated place, you'll find a cafe where they sell this crazy. Thousands drink. of thousands of variety. Oh, like yeah. even the biggest Starbucks cafe or any other cafe, they don't have this many varieties. It's crazy. And we also ordered some pizza, so hopefully the pizza is nice. And every time they have to give us something, they just slide it here, slide it here, and then we take our pizza. We ordered small, 10 inch, so I thought it would be like this. You know, I thought it's really nice for lunch, but it's a four pie pizza. Oh, looks interesting. It's a bit of like bread structure. Oh, whoa. <gasps> wow. How am I eating to eat this, Adi? I love their cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never had so much cheese in one go in my life. And just when he thought we had so much food. This was here, another pizza. <laughs> but it really felt it would be like half the size. Well, we but have yeah. to finish it. And you know what's really interesting? They put. Um, Oh, this is tomato. No, no, this is tomato. Okay. Yesterday they put like little slices of orange on the pizza. It was really nice. Mm. Oh, look up. So what I really don't understand from these drinks is like everyone is drinking them and they always put these balls. But, like, do you like to chew on these balls? What, what does it add? And that sounds really weird. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> oh. But uh, the, the problem I'm facing now is that one of these balls is in my straw <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so stuck. So you can't blow it. <laughs> no, but like, how do you, like, uh, it's just a struggle. I really don't, and it's such a big thing. Like, I think a lot of uh, people from maybe Europe or so who are watching, they, yeah, it's not really a big thing in Europe. But in Asia, it's just crazy. See how pretty. I think when I come home, I'll have a whole bag full of um, beautiful shells. You can use this as a spoon, Adi. Yeah. So after our grand and cheesy lunch, now we are just walking on the beach. We are searching for something. We are searching for the perfect postcard picture. But it's so cozy to be here. Like all you see yeah. is just local people. And there's also some festival going on. It's just awesome, amazing place to be. Water, people would die to have to see water like yeah. this. We were just discussing. <laughs> Imagine that in the Netherlands we had this water, you know, like that would be crazy. Insane. Yeah, and it's just there, and people are just chilling and just yeah. not even bothered about the water. And we are like, oh my god, it's so cool, so yeah. cool. It is. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at this sand. Oh, it's just like like flower. Or you can make some pizza again. Yeah. So nice. But you cannot make a sand castle from this end. No. I think everyone has parked their little boats here and they're working on the boat. Maybe doing some repair or so. You see? And there's some kids playing. It's just so nice, so nice. I think it's school holidays because of the fiesta. Could be. Because like yeah, we see too many locals they should <laughs> be on school normally now. You can ask them. Yeah. You don't go in school? You can go hi. say hi, Viva. Hi. Oh, you made a circle. Oh. Yeah. You can play. Yeah. Look at this. I think I've never seen it outside of Australia. Really? Oh, oh yeah. But you don't have it? No. The kids are watching. They think you are crazy. I don't <laughs> touch my feet. Look. <laughs> That's where we're going to go. 
There's also some disco baby it's tonight. It's a party, it's a party. And there are somehow a lot of children on this island. So I think it's going to be really fun. Party yeah. with the children. So Bolakai, what is just over there, I think? There? Yeah, yeah I Just think so. really close by. It's of course the most famous beach of the Philippines and maybe even from the world. It will be packed there, like thousands of tourists in here. Just a little boat ride from Boralakai. The same sands, same palm trees, beautiful water, but then all by yourself. If you are watching this video and if you are in Boracay, just come with the ferry here. It is just absolute heaven. And we are here for since literally last one hour and there's nobody here. But <laughs> someone came up to us. Yeah, some local, he asked money because he's cleaning this beach. Now, in the last time, in the last minutes we are here, I took so much glass from the beach. So I'm not sure if he's cleaning, but we had to pay him. Yeah, 20 pesos it's he was asking, much. but uh, yeah. I hope he gets a nice meal from that. But I really have a tip because now it's, what is the time? Almost three o'clock. Oh, we have to return the motorbike. Oh, shit. Yeah, but that was not the tip. No. The sun is over there now. If you're here in the morning, the sun will be in your, On your back. face, yeah. Yeah, so from the backs from the ocean and then you cannot have good photos. No, I think, yeah, this is a really good yeah, time. Yeah, you have to go in the afternoon to get nice photos here. And what we did in the morning, the cliff jumping, that's perfect for in the morning. Yes, exactly. So, and uh, the weather is also nice, so we are also lucky with yeah. that. say that we are the only foreigners enjoy, enjoying this fiesta and it's just yeah it's it's so cozy and so amazing yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I didn't want to have sugar, no milk, just plain, uh -huh. but this is just the latest. Hello vlogger, welcome to my guys. <laughs> the local people are just extremely friendly. Everybody's saying hi, everybody's asking questions, and everybody speaks English. So that is yeah, just... and they're like proper curious, you know, they really want to know where do we stay, how long are you staying here, do you like it, uh, yeah. so nice. Maybe we are the first tourist for 2023. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. You make everything? Yeah. Oh. It's a, we make what is this? Bread. Yeah, this is a plain bread. Okay. Uh, with the breadcrumbs outside. And this one. You make it as well. Yeah. Okay. We make it all. Love it. Okay. Tomorrow you can eat this one because it's still green outside. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Tomorrow this one. Uh, you can have uh, this. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank yeah. you. So now Mira is the favorite foreigner of this village. Oh, no, it's so cute if you make your own cookie. Look how cozy our place looks. Yeah, it is a really cozy place. I think if you stay on this island, this is the best place to stay because you do see the beautiful, amazing sunset. 
So you enjoyed this island? Amazing. If you love cliff jumping, if you love beautiful beaches with nice palm trees. And if you love just to be around locals and just yeah. to explore local life, it is just, I've, I've never experienced something like this before. That we were just there, just blending in the local tribe, enjoying the fair, enjoying the fiesta, yeah, just going nice. to the beach, all remotely by ourselves is. Yeah. I still cannot believe that we did it. It's amazing, but yeah. it's not. Uh, there's not much information on the internet how to get here and how everything works. So if you have any questions, let us know. Yeah. We will explain you everything how to get here. It's not difficult, really. You can come here, no worries. So that's it for the video. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.